just keep smiling in the face of adversity. The FDP is doing its best to pretend that September's election fiasco never happened. And who better to do that job than the new party leader, Christian Lindner? After decades of playing kingmaker, the FDP is no longer represented in the German parliament. But it is determined to hold on to its old traditions, like the big New Year's party. Still, there's little sense of a fresh start. Is there a new agenda that you're planning to set? It's important to me that the FDP liberates itself from old clichés and dependencies. We're a liberal party. That means we cannot, must not, represent the interests of specific sectors or groups. And it was the FDP's image as a party representing the business class that led to its catastrophic showing. The party failed to clear the 5% hurdle required to win seats in the Bundestag for the first time in its history. A day after the vote, the leadership stepped down. Christian Lindner was elected as party head shortly afterwards, at the age of 34. He's always liked to present a young, dynamic image. I'm Christian Lindner. I'm 21 and the youngest person in North Rhine-Westphalia's state parliament. And this is where we find him again today, in the opposition ranks. It's here that he first learned to launch bruising attacks. Ms. Kraft, your budget is based on numerical hallucinations. Your finance policy can't be taken seriously. But not everything is going smoothly for the new leader. For the past 150 years, Germany's liberals have been meeting on January 6th, Epiphany. Their leader has traditionally been greeted by the three kings, up to now, that is. But the wise men failed to turn up. And so Christian Lindner had to forego a Christian blessing before starting his speech to rally the members for their first big test, the European elections in May. It's our job as European liberals to combine a clear commitment to Europe with the courage to tackle its problems. No self-criticism and no talk of a new agenda, only praise for Lindner from the rank and file. He's really dynamic, youthful, and to a certain extent, someone in touch with the people. I think that Lindner is the right man because he can restore credibility to the FDP. It's four long years until Germany's next national elections. But smiles alone will not be enough either to garner new supporters or to satisfy party members with a yearning to feel important again.